In today's tutorial, let's work on this houndstooth bright hat together. This is available in sizes from six years old to 10 years and for women and men. Let's begin to do this pattern. Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd as well as Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host Mikey. Today we're going to work on this houndstooth hat. This is the child size version. I've already filmed the tutorial but this is what it looks like at the very end of this tutorial and it turned out really quite interesting. It's not a hard thing. I thought it was gonna be a lot harder. Uh, it's just easy to maintain. You don't end up with any kind of weirdness going on in this project but quite easy. So without further ado, let's uh, dive a little more into this tutorial and I'll show you how to make one of these hats. Today we're going to work on the houndstooth bright hat together. The houndstooth is a type of crochet stitch that you're seeing going on here and it reminds me of the side of a taxi cab in New York City. The size is available is from six to ten years old in women and men and you'll notice that they're different colors and what we can see here is that it's telling you that it's one ball uh, for the color for black and one ball for the color for white and one color for iris that you're seeing going on here. Now the reason for the ch color changes is that you're going to see in the instructions is that there's difference of colors and this is going to indicate to you what size that you need to do. So for example it says um, work uh, in the back loops until the project measures and then you see a difference of the colors and so for the child size it is see it's it's uh, kind of like red and then for the women's size it's in orange and then the green size is in men. So every time there's a difference of instruction for the different sizes then you just gotta pay attention to that here in the instructions. So without further ado we're going to get started on this project. You're gonna need two different crochet hooks today. A four millimeter size G and a five millimeter size H and uh, there's a difference of the of the pattern and we're gonna be starting off with the brim and the brim is relatively easy. In today's tutorial I am going to be demonstrating the child size to six to ten years old. You just have to substitute the instructions if you're doing the women's or the men's sizes and it's just a matter of changing uh, whatever you're doing at that particular point. So just look at the instructions and I will indicate to you when there is a difference. So the first up that we need to do is that we need to make a brim and I've already done this in advance uh, last night and this brim is for the child size version and it's 18 inches long. So for the women's sizes it's gonna be 19 inches and and for the men's it's 20. And so you're just gonna lay it out, let it relax and take your measurement. So you don't wanna stretch it and take that measurement. You just wanna have it relaxed because when you're wearing it, it will stretch slightly. This one is a really easy brim. It's made up of single crochets on the back loop creating the rib ribbing effect that you see that the person would have around the forehead. Let me show you how to make one of these. For the brim itself, the ribbing, you'll need the smaller hook of the two and it's a four millimeter size G and then you're just gonna use your yarn. So let's uh, begin and we're going to start off with the slip knot. And it doesn't matter which size that you're doing, the ribbing uh, is the same height on all three hats, all three sizes. So we're going to chain 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So we're gonna go back on this. This is not gonna be the entire thing. See how it changes? Okay, so it's gonna compress itself. So don't worry about it. If you think it's too long, it will compress. Second chain from the hook, go in the back hump of the stitch, the back loop of the stitch and just single crochet that one plus all of the remainder chains. Once you get the first back hump, the chain stays turned over and you're just gonna go into each one going all the way across. You're gonna come to the other side and then I'm gonna show you how to do the back loops and so that you can get the ribbing effect then for the remainder of the length of your, your ribbing. So I'm coming up all the way to the end already. It's just gonna be very quick. These brims are very quick to make. Uh, they are just single crochets so therefore they expand a lot faster than um, the slip stitching kinds of brims. So we're just gonna turn our work. We're going to chain one first. Now if you're new to crochet, you'll know, you won't, may not know that there's two strings that make up a stitch. The first string closest to you is called the front loop and the second string that is furthest from you is the back loop. So every time you turn and every time now all the way for this, you're going to chain one and come into the back loop of the first stitch and single crochet and this will create that ribbing look. So you're just gonna work your way down it and just go into the back loop only. It's just one strand. and you're gonna find this is gonna just speed along quite nicely. 
So it did tell you to make a smaller size crochet hook uh, versus the other hat. The reason why they want it is they want the brim to be a little more compact when you're wearing it. So it doesn't expand and open up the stitches so you don't freeze. So you're gonna go all the way to the end. There's only gonna be a total of nine stitches. So if you ever think that you're screwing up at any point you can sh count nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay so when you're done that one just turn it, chain one and turn and go into the back loop again all the way across. And so you're going to make your ribbing Okay, so if you're the child size it's gonna be 18 inches as I've already shown you and if it's the women's it's 19 inches and the men is 20 inches. So you're just gonna keep going back and forth going single crochets on the back loops and you're gonna go all the way to the end and do not fasten off at that time. I'm gonna show you how to um, be able to move on to the next part of this hat. So I have my 18 inches already done and you can see this is the starting point. So this time in this row I wanna uh, chain one and I wanna go into the back loop but this time I want to get the other one and I want to insert into um, the stitch on the other side to, to keep this and make this into a, a complete tube. Okay so we're just gonna slip st our single crochet. So I'm gonna go into the back loop of the first one and I'm gonna go into the complete stitch of the second. And so I'm gonna do that all the way across and what this is going to do is going to join it so that the brim is one complete round unit. Like so. So that's not hard right? Want to make sure I get to the back loop on the one side. You want to be consistent. That's all you have to do with this whole thing is just be consistent. Even if you think you're doing it wrong, if you're consistent, nobody would really know if it's wrong if you if it's all looking consistent. So I'm going to come up all the way and now we're ready for the next part of this tutorial. So what I can do now is that I can see that I got a nice lip here. So what I'm just gonna do is that I'm gonna keep this to my outside. See how it's kind of expanded and you have a ridge here. You wanna keep that on the under, underside and now just turn it. Okay and now we're ready for the next part of this tutorial. So now what we're going to do is that we need to put a stitch marker right where we are right here. So just get a, a spare piece of yarn that you can identify and I'm just gonna grab another piece of yarn that's in my trash bin here. And I'm just gonna put it, I think it's gonna be very obvious for me. I'm an experienced crochet but if you're not just put a stitch marker in. The hound's tooth does not work in a complete round and round and round like a normal hat. We just, we have to go in rows of back and forth. So it's telling you to put a stitch marker in there. Now for the child size version what we have to do is that we have to instantly just start and we just have to put single crochets in just around. So you just have to go on to the edge and what I would recommend at this point is that when you go in don't just grab one strand. Make sure you get at least two strands. It'll be a better join for when you do that. And for the child size version you need to fit in 62 single crochets all the way around and for the women's it's 68 and for the men's it's 74. So I'm going to count this and if I'm wrong then I just have to pull out a little bit and kind of uh, just kind of make it all fit and then the next uh, round then we start working on the hound's tooth area and that will bring everything back in balance. So fit in equally 62 uh, single crochets if you're doing the child size version, uh, 68 for the women's and 74 for the men and please do that now. Now that I'm all the way back around I have my 62 in. I want to join it to the beginning single crochet that I started with and then that finishes that particular level there. So what I wanna do is just pull up this and get rid of this hook and switch over to my five millimeter size H now for the remainder of the pattern and insert this hook instead. And we're going to turn our work and then begin round number one. So it's not like one of those patterns that we keep going around in this round and around. We have to turn every time we get back to the spot here. Let's begin round number one. To start round number one we're gonna simply chain up one and we're gonna place one single crochet into that same stitch. Okay and now the next one it, here's the repeat pattern. It's so hard. <laughs> not really. The first one is going to be a double crochet and then the next one will be a single crochet. That's all it is for this whole one. Okay so the next one is a double crochet and the next one is a single crochet. Please continue that same patterning going all the way around. That's pretty hard right? Nah. You can do it. 
So one single crochet, one double crochet all the way around. So I'm coming up all the way back around. Now it says in the instructions that the last stitch should be one double crochet. If it's not going to be um, and you think it's supposed to be a single crochet, throw in a single crochet just to make it in balance and then throw in an, an additional double crochet there. And this pattern is working in sets of two. So at this particular point, so you want it to stay in balance at this point. Once you have your last double crochet in there, just join it to the first single crochet that you started with right there like so. And we're going to change our color then and move up and I'm going to be keeping my colors like the solid blue here, the steel blue and then I'm just gonna throw in some accenting white in order to continue the hound's tooth uh, patterning just like so. So now that I have it turned around and I'm ready to go back so it was here, now I'm turned around. Here's the wonderful thing about this pattern. I want you to pull up a loop and let it fall out of the way and put this yarn strand out of the way and then at the same one where you've done the slip stitching I want you to uh, to grab your next yarn. In round number two I'm going to join it to the top of the first double crochet. So we're just gonna take both strands and just go over top and we're gonna carry this white throughout the project as well. So we're just, uh, just kinda getting everything ready and we're introducing the color for the first time. So I'm gonna join it and I want to do a single crochet first so it's chain one, single crochet into this same double crochet. So what we're going to do on this particular round is that we're gonna do the opposite. So this one here is a single crochet. I just put in a single crochet. So we're going to go single crochet, double crochet. Okay, the next one is a single crochet and the next one is a double. So what we're doing here on this particular round is that we're kinda putting in the opposite to what is already here underneath and by doing so it's gonna create the effect that we want. So just single crochet, double crochet, single crochet, double crochet all the way around. So I'm coming up all the way around. I'm still maintaining the pattern. This next one is double and single. So in my brain I've been going double, single, double, single all the way around. So it's really quite easy to maintain and I wanna go all the way to the beginning. Okay, so there's gonna be a double here. Okay, and once I get here what I'm gonna do is that I'm going to join it to the top of the beginning. So right where the white is here and what we're going to do is pull up on the white and we're going to turn our project now and we're gonna introduce the blue back in for the next round. So let's continue to round number three. So let me introduce the blue back in. So I'm just gonna put my hook around the loop and I'm gonna pull the loop tight again and what I want to do is that I want to let the white fall out of the way and I want to join it to the top. So I'm just gonna put it to the top of the first stitch okay. So I'm just gonna join it in and now I want to continue this pattern like we had. So we're gonna chain one and we're gonna single crochet into the first one and then we're going to double crochet into the next. So th this whole round for number three is again what you already know is just single, double, single, double all the way around. This is the repeat pattern for this whole thing yeah, um, for this particular body and we need to measure a certain amount. So uh, let me get this uh, round done for you and then we'll cover the instructions because you're gonna have to continue the same patterning of switching these two yarns back and forth in order to create the hound's tooth look that is happening and uh, you should start to see it start to uh, come out on the top as well. So in round three I'm coming all the way back to the start and I'm going to be switching back to white. So this whole hound's tooth area here has to be a certain height before we can move on to the rest of the hat. So we're, we're gonna have to do that um, first before we can move along in this tutorial and all it is is a repeat of these uh, of the patterning that yeah, you see. So once you get all the way back to the start you're going to join to slip stitch to the first single crochet that you started with, pull a loop and let's get our white ready again to move up. So what we're going to do then in this particular uh, section here is that we have to just repeat exactly. So we pull up a loop, a uh, chain one, one single crochet into the first, one double, single, double, single. And I need you to get this, this town's tooth area to a certain height. So if you're doing the child size version it will be three inches. So you just add three inches there. Um, women's is three and men's is four. So you just take your tape measure and just do the same section until this band here all measures the same uh, that it's asking for in the pattern. So it's either three, three or four. So continue to do that and when we come back then we'll start doing the upper part of this hat. 
just before I ask you to move on just to hopefully you didn't click off I'm going to pull out this last slip stitch. Do you see how the yarn is on the out, outside? I want to carry the yarn so it appears on the inside. So whenever we go to do a slip stitch make sure that this yarn that you're about to start in the next one is on the inside of the hat. Therefore you won't see it carrying up on the outside of the hat. So that's just something I just noticed. So I'm gonna pull this loop up first and then grab the white to move up to the next round. Okay, so it just makes it easier for you to be able to follow. So make sure you turn your work first and then begin the next round. Okay, so I'm back and uh, just a few moments ago I left you here. It only took me I would think about 20 minutes to get this far. It didn't take very long. This is three inches here and now I am ready for the next part. Now the next part according to the instructions is that we change the color and you will notice in, in the pattern that it had a different color top. That's up to you. I'm gonna carry across the blue anyway uh, for myself but what I want to do before I do anything is that I wanna finish off the white. So I'm just going to um, just take my time and I'm gonna worry about that afterwards. So I'm just going to pull up the loop here of the white that I just finished and I'm just going to kind of just pull it through the loop just to secure it and I'm going to use a darning needle at the end just to kind of secure it into position at this point. So now what I want to do is that I wanna move up. So it says to break this color too and to change it to a different color. I'm going to keep it the same. I, I want a blue, uh, keep it really kind of masculine um, and it's just a personal preference but if you wanna change it to a third color that's completely up to you. So let's move along and let's continue for round number one of the top part of the hat. So let's uh, continue and I'm going to chain one according to the instructions in round in the first round of the body and it says does not count as a half double crochet in th uh, th here and throughout. So I'm gonna do the first one just wrap the hook going in and a half double crochet. So we have to do five in a row. So that was one, two, three, four and five and then according to the instructions it says to uh, half double crochet two together. So we're gonna put two together in the next one. So what we have to do is just wrap going into the next one, pull through, wrap going into the next one after that, pull through. You have five loops on your hook, wrap and pull through all five. And that just made two stitches into one. So the repeat pattern on this one is five half double crochets in a row if you're doing the kid size. The adult size is as uh, three for the women and one um, into the next. Okay, so it really uh, varies on this one. So one, two, three, four, and five and then the next two are together. So wrap in, pull through, wrap in to the next one. After that pull through, you have five, pull through all five and then begin again. So five half double crochets in a row and then the next one will be two together. Continue to do that all the way around. So I'm coming up all the way back around. The final two stitches are going to be um, half double crochet two together. Okay and then an I know. So I'm just going to join that to the very first half double crochet. Remember that chaining of two never counts as anything. So this time we're gonna continue to go in the same direction. It's like a regular hat at this point and let's move on to round number two, three and four. They're all the same for those rounds. Okay rounds two, three and four for all sizes are the same. We're gonna chain two. Does not count as a half double crochet. We're gonna half double crochet into the first one and we're gonna half double crochet into each of the stitches all the way around. So we're not subtracting or anything on this particular round and nor are you going to be subtracting on anything on round three and four. So please do all three of these rounds. So this is rounds two, three and four with just one half double crochet into each of the stitches all the way around and I'll meet you back here and we'll start round number five together. So we have to start off number five right. So we have to chain two so which I've already done and for the child size it says that we have to half double crochet in the next two. So I'm gonna just do this one. If you were the women's size according to this you would have to half double crochet in the next two which I just did and then the men's size it's half double crochet in the next five. So here comes the repeat pattern for this whole thing for this round. So we're gonna do half double crochet two together in the next two. Bring those two together just like that and it says one half double crochet in each of the next four stitches if you're doing it in the child size and the other one uh, women's would be the next three. 
okay, one half double crochet in the next three and for the men's size it's one half double crochet in the next nine and repeat from the asterisk which is two together again. So this is the child size version. You may wanna look at the instructions for the size that you're working on to clarify for yourself. So for the child size it's four half double crochets in a row, two, three, and four and the women's size was only three of those and the men's size was nine and then it's two together. Okay, so the child size version is four half double crochets and we're gonna continue this all the way around and I'll meet you at the end of this uh, revolution where I'll show you how to finish this revolution because that's where the rest of the instructions come into play on that round. So coming up all the way around I'm almost out of stitches and we had to continue that same patterning going all the way around and what we're going to do then with, with this one is that the last two are going to be two together. Just refer to the instructions for the other sizes that you have available to you. So just refer to the link and uh, it'll tell you how many stitches that you have left. Um, just for clarification uh, for the women's size there would have been um, um, one stitch and for the men's size there would have been four and we still have to join with the slip stitch. So just look at that and let's continue to round number six. Round number six we're gonna do some more decreasing. We're gonna chain up two for the uh, our baby or child size and then what do we have here is that one half double crochet in each of the next three. So for the child size it is half double crochets in each of the next three. For the adult women's it's two half double crochets and for the men's it's four and we're going to then continue the repeat pattern. So, so we're gonna do half double crochet two together for this. Okay, so for the child size again just to reiterate that it's one half double crochet in the next three. For the women's it's two and for the men's it's four. Okay, and then you do the half double crochet then. So continue that same repeat all the way around. I'm continuing the pattern all the way around and I just have to then, I have to make sure I get my two together as my last one in order to keep the pattern in balance. Like so and then just join it to the beginning half double crochet that we started with. So let's uh, begin and we are going to then move up to the seventh round next. Seventh round we're really gonna uh, decrease drastically on this one for the child size and the women's. Men's is just a little bit longer. So we're gonna chain two. It says half double crochet into the uh, stitch, into the next stitch and that's only one and then we're going to put in half double crochet two together in the next. Okay, so the next one is two together. So for the child size it's only one. For the women's it was only one, uh, one and for the men's it was three um, half double crochets. So the next one is half double crochet and then the next one is two together. Continue that same pattern going all the way around. So I'm continuing all the way around. The last one is half double crochet two together and I just join it to the top of the beginning half double crochet. So let's move on and we're gonna move on to round number eight and you can see that the hole is really starting to close in now. So let's begin round number eight. So round number eight takes a turn and in the women's size for only for round number eight and only in the women's size you're going to chain two and one half double crochet around each, each of the stitches. Okay and then you join to the top. But we're working on the child size right now and so for the child size what we're going to do is chain two and then we're going to half double crochet each uh, or sorry, single cro <laughs> half double crochet two together for each one of the, the stitches going all the way around. So every two is now gonna become one. Now for the men's size if you're working on that one there's still a lot of instructions left. Um, you have rounds nine and ten uh, going all the way down. This uh, particular round that I'm working on for the kids is now actually finished. Uh, I have to do a drawstring and do it. So the men's section still has um, nine and ten left and you can see the instructions on what you need to do and it's just a matter of a few more rounds in order to make it work. So for the kids size it's a uh, half double crochet two together all the way around and then we're gonna leave a long string and then draw it closed with a darning needle. When you get all the way back around the last ones are half double crochet two together and we're just going to pull it through and join to the beginning. So what I want to do is that I wanna leave an extra long string here and I want to cut it and I want to pull my yarn through that loop like so. 
and I'm gonna grab a darning needle next and what I want to do is that if there is still a small hole there so what we want to do is draw this string through that whole section. So let's uh, begin with the slip. So let's begin with the darning needle. Let's begin with the darning needle to do that. So we're just gonna insert the yarn onto the needle and I just want to follow this path around the top into the stitch work and I'm not gonna pull all the string through I'm just gonna get some of it through continue it to go all the way around and what we're gonna do is kinda like close line it closed at the top. Now we have uh, there's a pom pom that's required if you would like to do that it's up to you it's your creativity. We do have a separate tutorial on how to make homemade pom poms or if you'd like to buy a ready made one they are available on yarnspirations.com as well. So now that I've got it all the way around just pull the string and that will pull that section closed at the top and what I like to do is just kinda run it across diagonally over the top of the hole and I like to go in the opposite direction across the other way and you can do that a few times if it makes you feel more secure and then I'm just gonna tie it a little bit into a just feed it through not and what I'm gonna do is stick it down through the project and I'm going to turn this inside out next. So let me turn it inside out and bring it through. Okay. And what I want to do is just feed it through some fibers here and kind of tie it and secure it into position. You don't want it to pop out on you. Okay, so now that it's tied, I'm just gonna run run it through some more fibers underneath. And I can safely trim this yarn now. So I don't have to worry about it falling off. And what I need to do is then I need to go back to where I had the white. Remember I kinda just uh, left it there at that section. So in the white on the inside of the hat I am going to just put my darning needle in. And all I'm just gonna do is just run it through some sections on the inside of the hat. Don't let this needle hit the outside. And I'm just running it through a few times under some fibers. If you run it through three times it's going to uh, lock itself into position but if you feel like you need to put a tie on it or anything like that then that's up to you. Okay so that's done. And the other string that's hanging out here the white that is uh, underneath I secured that as I went. I can pull out my stitch thing. Uh, we have our starting string so let's put that hook or needle back in and all I just want to do is secure it in some fibers. Okay and I'm just gonna go on the inside of the hat. Where's the inside? It's on this side. Just gonna go on the inside just run it through some fibers. It's already kind of locked into position to where it's sitting anyway. Um, I just want to be a little bit gentle about it. Had I did yesterday in tutorial I kind of pulled it too tight and you could really clearly see that I did that. Okay so I'm running it through three different directions and then I can safely trim that as well. So this would be concluding my hat. So if I wanted to do a pom pom I could. Uh, and if you don't want to that's completely up to you but this is the hound's tooth hat. This is the child size version. Looks uh, really kind of cool. Great stitch work and uh, in the pattern it asks us to do the top a different color. You know what? It's up to you. It's creativity. What's interesting though is that this color in the middle looks different from that even though it's the same in my opinion. It looks more purple than this one does uh, even though it's supposed to be a blue. So that's it for now and until next time I'm Mikey on behalf of the Crochet Crowd as well as Yarnspirations.com. Enjoy this free pattern and hopefully you learned something today. Until next time I'm Mikey and have a great day. Bye bye.